that bitch. But she still get my respect. She was a test kid. I'm wearing protected, I use socks five. Everybody want my bin number, I can't drop mine. So I've been hearing a lot about this dude, Punch Made Dev. Anytime you do some research on him, you can't really find anything about him on the internet, which I find fascinating. You know, nobody's really made any videos about him. You know, the only thing I really did come across was this comment on a Reddit post of someone asking if Dev was over on Telegram scamming. But that's all I really came across, which I find interesting and only made me want to look into him even more. Now, if we head on over to his Instagram, you will find pictures of him holding the largest pile of cash I've ever seen in my life. But if you pay attention, if you pay attention, he has a link in his Instagram bio, which basically takes you over to his social media links. But if we look here, it says click here to learn. Then it takes us over to his Telegram chat, where Dev is claiming to have a cash app glitch that you can essentially buy from him and he will send you the steps on how to do it yourself. Now, if you're this gullible to believe, to think there's such thing as a cash app glitch and that someone can sell it to you, can tell you the steps for you to be able to do it yourself, I honestly don't even know where to start with you. Cash App is owned by Block Incorporated, which is an American multinational technology conglomerate that was founded back in 2009 by Jack Dorsey and Jim McKelvey. It is a financial service and mobile payment company that sells a broad range of products, including point of sale hardware and software. You know, they're a publicly traded company on the New York Stock Exchange for crying out loud. They're not just gonna allow people to profit off of them without them getting something in return, especially not with some fucking Cash App glitch. But before we get into the Telegram chats, I first wanna look at Dev's Telegram bio because there's a very interesting link that he has in there, okay? So if we click on the link, we can see that it takes us over to the punch shop, which, you know, apparently where Dev is selling, you know, cash apps, uh, bank logs, two-step verification bypass, fulls and CCs, even crypto logs. And when you go to purchase one of these illegal items, you will see, you know, he wants you to send them Bitcoin, which obviously is a scam. If you don't know, scammers use Bitcoin, you know, and other cryptocurrencies basically for transactions because it's non-refundable. You know, you send your crypto, there's no way you can get it back. Whereas, you know, if you make a transaction with your debit card, your credit card, file for a chargeback, you send your crypto, there's no way for you to get it back. There's no way for you to reverse that transaction. Scammers love to use Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies basically because it's non-traceable. It's, it's, and it's non-refundable. It does go on the blockchain. That's one thing, but it's non-refundable. That basically means, you know, there's no way that you can stop the transaction. There's no way for you to reverse that transaction you can't you know call your bank you can't file for a chargeback you know none of that with crypto so after you send it there's no way for you to do anything if you don't get your item if anything goes wrong that's just on you you're never going to see that again you know you can't even receive crypto back unless the person on the receiving end is nice enough to send it back to you but who's doing that no one especially a scammer the whole point of them doing all this is to trick people into sending them Bitcoin or other cryptocurrencies so they can send them nothing in return, right? So they can essentially scam them out of their money, out of their Bitcoin, out of their cryptocurrency, and then they don't have to do anything. They don't have to send you anything. If you really think you can pay for a, a bank log, right, or a, or a cash app or a PayPal account or whatever, if you really think you could pay for one of these items on the internet and actually receive a real item a real account you are gullible as hell and i really don't even like i said i don't even know where to start with y'all but let's get into the telegram chats so basically what dev has done here is he has convinced over eighty thousand people that are here in his telegram chat that he has a cash app glitch and he can sell it to them right he can he can give them the steps that way they can do it themselves to be able to make a whole bunch of money right just like dev just like dev does right you always see him cashing out you want to be able to cash out like him so you have thousands of individuals who are sending their bitcoin to this Bitcoin address that he's providing them for a cash app glitch so they can learn the steps so they can learn how dev makes money. Ice my wrist off off the cash app glitch and I ice my team out. You feel me? That's what real motion look like. And the balance is available. I could cash out if I want to. Easy bread, everyday money. You don't got to cash out. That's just what I like to do. Yeah, yeah, let's check the dates too, just so y'all know, damn if I can get to it, yeah. Unfortunately, what these people do, do not realize, what they fail to realize is that there's no cash app glitch, obviously, right? Any, any person with financial literacy will understand this. There's no cash app glitch. The cash app glitch is you. Absolutely smacking, you see I got a honey cake. In my mansion, I barely got service. I gotta come upstairs. 
in this big ass mansion to hit the glitch. So with that being said, Depp doesn't make money off a of Cash App glitch. There is no Cash App glitch. He makes money off tricking people into thinking there's a Cash App glitch and sending them their big their Bitcoin to him. And then he essentially just scams them after they send twenty dollars worth of Bitcoin, you know, to learn the method. But there is no method. They are the method. And you would think people would be, you know, more conscious, more aware regarding someone who literally raps about scamming and tricking people, getting taking advantage of them. And maybe he's just trying to get two hundred dollars worth of Bitcoin from me, which is obviously what's clearly happening. But it's like some of these people don't realize that, so they end up, you know, actually sending him Bitcoin to learn this cash app glitch, and they end up getting scammed. So my question is, do these thoughts ever run through Dev's victims' minds? I can't even really blame Dev, right? Because it's like he's found a loophole. And if people are global enough to allow him to make a ton of money off of them in a very short amount of time, you know, if people are global enough to send their money away, then they deserve to be scammed. That way they can learn, you know, that not everyone is truthful out here. Not everyone is a nice person, especially on the internet. So you must understand that you can fall a victim very easily out here, you know, and, and, and maybe, maybe not as obvious, maybe not in an obvious way, like some of these people with dev scam, because a lot of scammers are very intelligent with their scams, right? I mean, they have to be, they are stealing money from hardworking people that care about their money. They're tired of living a life of no fulfillment, right? No true happiness, no real financial freedom in their life, which is what everyone is striving for in life. It's the reason why so many people wake up at 5 a.m and get ready to go to a job they absolutely hate so they can make money so with that being said money can influence people to do things you know that they would rather not do i don't think people who commit these crimes these white collar crimes are necessarily bad people they're usually just in bad financial situations and they're they're panicking and they're looking for a way to crawl out of the situation that they essentially dug themselves into but the difference is dev seems to have already accomplished a lot of things that many people in life will never get to accomplish, right? I mean, he's he has a nice following of people who support everything he's doing. He ups 200K on Instagram Live every time he gets on there. I'll up 200K on Instagram, who else can top it? Living in a mansion with $500,000 worth of jewelry on. You know, so he's already achieved a lot. Most guys will never get to wear Audemars Piguet on her wrist. Fuck that, I'm gonna wear two watches on my wrist. Or hold $200,000 in there in the palm of their hands. Most guys will never get to experience these things. And most people who start rapping never make it in the music industry, right? That's another thing. Dev has a platinum plaque. So nobody can argue the fact that he's achieved a lot in his career, right? More than most people will ever achieve in a lifetime. But with that being said, why is he still scamming? If you wanna make money today, listen up, pay attention. I'm about to explain everything real quickly. Now for anything in this chat, you gotta be Bitcoin ready. I pinned a tutorial at the top of the channel on how to easily send Bitcoin through Cash App. If you don't see it, scroll all the way up to the top of my channel and you will see a tutorial on how to send Bitcoin through Cash App. It's real simple. All you gotta do is buy the Bitcoin then send it. Real simple. Now you can send it from any Bitcoin app, Coinbase, any Bitcoin website, any crypto website, crypto app, a Bitcoin ATM. It doesn't matter how you send it. It doesn't matter who sends it for you. Just make sure you're Bitcoin ready. Now with that being said, y'all wonder what we smacking today everybody has been hitting the cash app glitch if you haven't got on the cash app glitch yet what the fuck are you doing now the cash app glitch is 200 btc for the steps like i said if you don't have 200 dollars bitcoin ready do not message me you will be instantly blocked and kicked out the channel i'm trying to figure out who's trying to make money today and who's not now with that being said the cash app glitch is only three steps that hits anywhere from 7 to 14k you can hit that on the same account multiple times now you can do it on fresh accounts old accounts it doesn't matter what account you're doing on and you can hit more more than once on one account hits for 7 to 14k real easy you can cash out you can leave it in your account doesn't matter you will not get banned when you message me make sure you're bitcoin ready like i said it's 200 dollars btc for the steps real simple process you send the money i send you the steps we eat he said you talking crazy yeah i could talk wherever i went when i'm holding 200k huh Dev said something one time in one of his songs that really stuck with me, right? It really made me think. And it made me think about the world as a whole and how people that live on the same planet as me, me and you, right? Same planet I'm trying to live a good life on and eventually raise a family on. Same planet that my daughter or my son could grow up on, right? That have no regard for human life. No, I don't have no regards for human life. I'm trying to get some money. Which is a crazy sentiment because, you know, at least for me, you know, I would like to think that most people that are alive and well today do have regard for human life, you know, and other people. But the older I get, the more I realize that a lot of people are selfish. I was on my way home the other day, right? I drove by a car that had clearly been in an accident. But what I noticed and what I found strange was that Everyone, instead of y'all pulling over and trying to help this person that was just in the middle of the road, clearly had just been in an accident, could just be sitting there dead, right? But instead of, you know, getting out and helping, a lot of people were just 
honking, you know, yelling, get out the way. Those people could be in that car dead. But did anyone passing by care? No, except me. There was a woman inside, right? Thankfully she was okay, right? But it really just showed me how cruel this world is. In order for someone to have no regard for human life, they either, one, must be psychotic, or two, they must have been through, you know, a lot of trauma in life that got them to that point. But I feel like that's like the worst thing that happened to someone, you know, so. I don't know. I feel like no matter how hard life gets, you, you should never, you never want to lose your excitement for life, right? Your, your life journey. And as far as scamming, right? I see a lot of people, a lot of younger people that want to get into scamming. Don't get into scamming, right? Because I promise you, it's not worth the worries, right? I, I feel like, I feel like a lot of people don't know the best route to take for themselves. And they are very easily influenced by anything and everything that comes their way, anything they see online, anything on TikTok. So they see Punch Made Dev and or me talking about scams on YouTube and they think that's a viable route for them to take in life. And it's just, it, it, it's stupid. I, 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 I talk about preventative methods and why you shouldn't get into scamming. I don't talk about it so you can think it's a good way to make money. You're gonna go to jail. You're gonna end up ruining your life, right? And I see people, even people who have kids wanna get into scamming. I'm like, you have kids to take care of. You can't be getting, you can't be doing credit card fraud and end up getting 10 years and now your kids have to grow up with no mom, no dad. So you definitely don't want that. You know, you wanna be able to be proud of yourself. When everything is said and done and you're on your deathbed, right? You wanna be able to look back on your life and you wanna be, you wanna know in your heart that you created something that you can be proud of, that you can pass down to your children, right? That's the whole point of life. That's the whole goal to pass down generational wealth, right? So it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter how you get there, but you definitely don't wanna get there by scamming because it's illegal. And when you make illegal money, it can be taken from you. It can legally be taken from you because it wasn't earned legally. It wasn't earned legitimately. So instead you wanna focus on building a legacy around yourself and your family that you can look back on and smile at. Something that will actually make you feel fulfilled. And that's really all that matters in life, right? Your family matters, God matters, you matter. No amount of money should change that. Because I can tell you what, you know, I live a pretty good life, right? Pretty comfortable nowadays. But I think back when I was poor and I think I think that's when I was happiest. So even though I initially grew up poor, my family always, you know, made a way and it, it and it worked for us, right? But and we never went without. You know, I remember on my first car. My first car, you know, you looked you look down in the floorboards on the driver's side and you can literally see the road. Right, the, the floorboard of the car was literally starting to rust away. So when I tell you that, and now I'll show you the car I'm driving now, uh, 2023 C300, it speaks volumes as to, you know, my story, my journey and where I came from. We did a lot with less. And I feel like, you know, growing up poor in those poor times were the happiest times of my life, to be honest with you. There's, I feel like there's something very special about growing up poor, but then changing the fabric of your life, changing the fabric of your financial situation for the better without committing crimes. Because I'll tell you what, it feels amazing driving luxury cars that aren't stolen.